What's going on, everybody? Let's talk about a brand new Disney movie starring The Rock, starring Emily Blunt. Let's talk about Jungle Cruise. Now, Jungle Cruise is based on the popular Disney ride, and it follows the story of a young doctor in the early 1900s who's played here by Emily Blunt, who is in search of this mythical tree that grows these flowers that contain the power to heal basically any disease, any one. So she decides to hire the skipper of this steamboat, played here by Dwayne The Rock Johnson, to guide her to this mythical tree and, you know, protect her from anything that she may encounter that is precarious. Now, I was actually really looking forward to this movie because I love those old school, like, swashbuckling adventure movies that we don't really get to see anymore you know like you know like the mummy like romancing the stone you know like those old uh pirates of the caribbean movies at least like the first three i miss those kinds of movies we don't get to see them much anymore you know there doesn't seem to be a huge audience for them anymore unfortunately but oh man do they have a soft spot in my heart there is a huge soft spot in my heart for movies like that so i was kind of hoping that we get a nice homage to those kinds of films uh and a nice little entry into that genre and fortunately i got what i wanted and even a little bit more because because I think Jungle Cruise is a blast. This movie's way better than I thought it was going to be. And I think that's due in large part to the amazing chemistry here between uh, Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt, who are electric in this movie. The casting in this movie is perfection all around. You know, Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt, like I just said, amazing chemistry with one another. They bring out the best in one another comedically. They're great in the action sequences. You know, they're clearly having a blast with one another and their, you know, uh, excitement and, you know, uh, laughter is just kind of infectious in this movie. You can tell they had a great time making it, and fortunately, the movie itself is a great time, which, that's a nice combo. And the supporting cast, which includes the likes of uh, Jack Whitehall, he's a real fun addition who becomes part of this trio that includes himself, Dwayne Johnson, and Emily Blunt, as these three kind of go on this adventure with one another, and you know, uh, he's actually a really nice addition that doesn't drag down the proceedings and really adds a nice comedic element to the movie. And also, we have Jesse Plemons, who is chewing up scenery in this movie as this German villain Oh my God, I love Jesse Plemons. The, <laughs> this guy is so funny. And I feel like sometimes he doesn't realize how funny he is. And I think he's so good at playing these characters, these comedic characters, but he plays them in such a serious way that they become even funnier. Where like on the page, I'm sure they were funny, but just the way he plays them so seriously just makes those characters all the better, all the funnier. And this is no exception. He's so good in this movie. He is having a blast as this character. And anytime he was on screen, couldn't take my eyes off him. So good. Now, this movie is directed by Jean Collet Serra. I probably am not pronouncing that name right because I'm terrible with names. Because that's who I am. And I unfortunately have to embrace that. Who I think is one of the most severely underrated directors working today. He is a man who really knows how to perfect the B movie, who has given us some amazing. B movies. This is the man behind The Commuter, The Shallows, Run All Night. I mean, this is a guy who really knows how to make a fun, entertaining B movie, who knows how to take that genre, elevate it a little bit more. And I thought he was the perfect choice to tackle a movie like this. And I loved what he did with the material here. What I really loved that he did with this movie is not only did he make it visually dynamic, I mean, I do think this is a really well-made, well-directed movie that has a lot of fun action sequences. And what I really do love about the action sequences is that, yes, there is a lot of CGI in this movie, and some of the CGI admittedly is a little bit wonky, especially towards the end of the movie where it gets a little bit CGI heavy. But for the most part, there is a lot of great practical stunts in this movie that are really fun and charming and kind of remind me of those old school, you know, swashbuckling movies, you know, like Romancing the Stone, like, you know, those first two mummy movies with uh, Brendan Fraser that I loved, oh my God. I just love that feel, and just from the get-go, this movie kind of had that kind of tone and that kind of, uh, you know, aesthetic, and I really, really enjoyed that. And I also like that he does slow down to kind of focus on character a little bit, which I really appreciated too, because this isn't just kind of like a mindless summer action movie. This is a movie that does take its time developing some of these core characters, which I really appreciated. You know, Johnson, uh, Whitehall, and Blunt's characters are all given a bit of depth that I really found to be really interesting and really involved. And I felt like they made their characters way more likable because they actually had the chance to flesh, you know, these characters out and give them time to breathe. They felt three-dimensional, and I really enjoyed that. And this movie also has a great sense of humor. That's a surprisingly funny script. I mean, from the get-go, I was actually surprised by how much I was laughing and how much I was actually enjoying a lot of the jokes. And as someone who does enjoy, like, a really good dad joke... Johnson's character in this movie is just like perfection because it's some of the <laughs> some of the dad jokes are really good. And I have to say, 
they went a long way for me. They went a long way in making me like this movie. Now, is this movie perfect? No, it's very predictable. It def definitely does lean too much on like CGI towards that latter half of the movie, you know, especially towards the climax where I felt like it was getting a little bit too like Pirates of the Caribbean, but like in the later movies where like things stopped being entertaining and it was just like CGI on CGI on CGI and it just didn't look good. But other than that, other than some predictability, other than some, you know, action sequences that were a little bit too CGI heavy, I had a really good time with Jungle Cruise. I think if you're looking for a really fun summer movie that kind of feels like an old school B action movie, like those old school swashbuckling action movies, I think you're really going to enjoy this one. And I think this one's going to really hit that sweet spot for you and you should give it a chance. I know know maybe from the trailers you were watching them and you're like eh this could kind of go either way maybe I'll wait till it hits you know you know DVD and Blu-ray I get that the trailers didn't really wow me either but I think the movie itself is a really entertaining time that really utilizes the talents of Johnson and Blunt in particular you know to really kind of make this movie shine and once again proves that Jean Collet Serra is a director that is absolutely worth uh, talking about and praising and who I cannot wait to see I can't wait to see what he does with Black Adam and I really love the fact that Johnson has even called him, you know, Hollywood's secret weapon. 100% agree with that. Can't wait to see what he does with that comic book movie. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. So in the end, I'm going to give Jungle Cruise, I'm going to give this movie, I'm going to give it a B plus. Really fun summer movie. Johnson and Blunt are absolutely terrific in this movie. Their chemistry is incredible. The movie itself is really fun and entertaining and really well directed. And yeah, it's a little bit predictable. And yeah, it's a little bit too CGI heavy at times. But in the end, really fun movie that I would highly recommend. If you're just looking for a really good time this summer, I think this one's going to do a lot right for you. So that is my review of Jungle Cruise. Really hope you enjoyed it. Really hope you take it into consideration if you consider watching this one or not, whether you watch it on Disney Plus Premier Access or you go to the theater to see it. I know times are a little bit tricky right now, so, you know, but I do recommend you see it in some way, shape, or form. It is really fun. And make sure to let me know what you thought of the movie if you have seen it in the comments section below. Give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe for more movie reviews, TV reviews, more fun stuff like that. And until next time everybody, I'm Tom Chattelbash, YouTube's most reliable movie critic.